morning children welcome to nile voice a vibrant e learning platform in today's session we are going to continue with unit 6 human organ system under this topic today we are going to learn in detail about the respiratory system so let us learn about the respiratory system in detail human res- respiratory system is involved in the exchange of respiratory gases and thereby it helps us to breathe the human respiratory system consists of nostrils nasal cavity pharynx larynx trachea trachea is called as a windpipe bronchi the branches bronchi and lungs it helps in the movement of air in and out of the body exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide occurs between air in the lungs and the blood so there is an exchange of gases in between the lungs and the blood The entry of food into the windpipe is prevented by a flap like structure called epiglottis. The entry of food into the food pipe is prevented by a flap like structure called epiglottis. Here you can see the flap. So this flap it prevents the entry of food particles into the windpipe so this is a windpipe and this is a food pipe so this epiglottis it prevents the food moving into the windpipe lungs are the main respiratory organ and they are located within the chest cavity they are the respiratory organ and located within the chest cavity the trachea commonly called the windpipe is a tube supported by cartilaginous rings that connects the pharynx and larynx to the lungs allowing the passage of air the trachea divides into right and left bronchi and enters into the lungs they divide further at ends in the small air sacs called alveoli here you can see the small tiny air sacs called alveoli the lungs are covered by a double layered membrane called the pleura diffusion of gases that is oxygen and carbon dioxide occurs the alveoli membrane diffusion of gases like oxygen and carbon dioxide occurs across the alveolar membrane now let us see about the exchange of gases by the respiratory system so the respiratory system involves three different processes such as external respiration internal respiration and the cellular respiration so let's see what is external and internal respiration in external respiration the intake of oxygen from the air and releasing carbon dioxide from the lungs occurs through the nostril it is called breathing external respiration is called breathing that is intake of oxygen from the air and releasing carbon dioxide from the lungs through the nostril it take occurs between the lungs and the environment in internal respiration taking in of oxygen 
and giving out of carbon dioxide the circulatory system transport oxygen and carbon dioxide to and from all parts of the body it occurs between cell and the blood hemoglobin is a red blood cells that is rbc it helps in the transport of oxygen and carbon dioxide next we will pass on to the cellular respiration cells take in oxygen and release carbon dioxide it is called cellular respiration the cells they take in oxygen and they give out carbon dioxide here taking in of oxygen and giving out of carbon dioxide so that is called as cellular respiration i think you are clear enough with what is external respiration internal respiration and cellular respiration so today we come to the 